Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt, and I am back with uh, a series that I love. I love story times with Molt. And I know that you guys too. These videos get, um, honestly, almost as much, if not more, than some of my Clash videos, which is awesome because I like talking. <laughs> I like telling you guys stories about my life um, and things that I've experienced, things that I've gone through, things that have been fun, things that have been embarrassing, things that have been scary, um... And today, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you all about one of the scariest things that ever happened to me. I still don't understand it or know what it is. And also, guys, some people are commenting down below, clearly these stories are fake. No, that's dumb. Like, if they if they were fake, I would have, like, with the story of the embarrassing whatever, if it was fake, I would have said, I stood there and I was like, yeah, I'm proud of being a man. Look at me, no pants on. No, okay? <laughs> I'm not making these up. You guys can think that I am if you want to. That's your own problem. Um, but I am telling you guys true stories about my life. And this one is probably one of the craziest things that has ever happened to me. I was either six or seven years old. A motorcycle just drove by. Um, <laughs> that's not part of the story. I was either six or seven years old. And um, I'm about to tell you all about the scariest moment in my entire life. Okay? So... Um, I was hanging out upstairs in my old house, and the way that it worked is you would go up the stairs, my room was on the left, and my brother's room was on the right, okay? And um, the door was kind of in the middle of the room, so you could open it, and there could be like, like if you were in the room, you could open the door and you could hide behind it. Um, so like I'd hidden behind my brother's room before and scared him or behind his door and stuff like that. So um, I was in my room as a six or seven year old, playing with my train set. How many of you guys have had train sets? If you've had a train set, let me know down below. I don't even know if those are cool for younger people anymore. Um, but I was like six, so I was playing with my train set, boom, 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 boom. And um, I hear in a woman's voice, come here, just like that. Okay, so it's like, come here. And I was like, the heck? Like my mom's all the way downstairs in the kitchen um, making dinner for us. And so I hear come here, and I was like, uh who, hello, <laughs> who the heck just said, come here, um, so I was like, okay, whatever, and so I keep on playing with my train set, um, it's going around, and I hear it again, and it sounds like it came from behind the door, so my door was open, and there was like the corner of the room was behind it, so, um, somebody could be behind the door, is what my, my little six-year-old mind was thinking, so I walk over to the door, and so say that I'm facing, the door right now okay you guys and the door is going this way so I walk over to it because I thought I heard come here from behind it I open it like this so it blocks all of this out nothing is behind the door obviously and I close it and then guess what I see it freaks me out even now thinking about it I see a super tall ghost-like figure standing in my brother's room okay um, I don't know if it was a ghost or if it was a demon, whatever it is. I don't know about um, that demonic kind of stuff. But I look over into my brother's room and it's this huge figure, probably like seven feet tall, just black and like flowy. Uh, it looks as if it has like, not blankets, but like a cloak or something on. And I just stare at it for a second and I start screaming at the top of my lungs for my sister who's on the second floor. Um... And I just stand there looking at it. She runs up and uh, it's like, what the freak is going on? And I'm like, we got to get out of here. I run down the stairs and then uh, she's with me. I'm like crying and freaking out. We run down the stairs and then right as we get down to the bottom of the stairs, I look back up and I see it come out into the hallway and then <laughs> I freak out even more. I just run down and we go like sit in my parents' room and I'm like freaking out and she's trying to calm me down. Um, she goes and checks. It's not there anymore. She didn't even see it the first time. It was only me. And uh, so I finally go back up there and look and there's nothing there. So I don't know if I was lucid dreaming, living a dream, if there actually was some kind of demonic presence or something in that other room. I don't know why it would have been. Um, but that is by far, guys, the scariest thing that has ever happened 
in my life. None of that is exaggeration. If I were to exaggerate it, I would say that it had red eyes and that it was going, ooh, all that kind of stuff. I'm not exaggerating. That is a legit true story. Um, if you guys, because some of you probably have had experience with experiences with that kind of stuff. Um, now, we can talk about all the religious stuff, but you guys always... Some of y'all get mad at me for doing that. If y'all have questions about that side of things, you can send me a message on YouTube and I'll respond to it about it. Um, y'all can comment down below. I'll read through some of them. Uh, but if y'all have had that kind of experience, let me know down below as well. Um, I've had a couple later on in life as well that weren't as intense as that one. But that's the story, guys. I hope that y'all enjoyed. If you did, make sure y'all hit that like button and um, let me know what you want to hear in the next episode. So, so far we've done running from the cops. We've done most embarrassing moment. We've done saving a life. And now we've done the ghastly ghost story. All right. So let me know what y'all want to hear next. I'm loving these. Uh, they're a lot of fun for me. And uh, we'll try and do one, one a week or something like that. Sometimes the stories might not be as intense. But yeah, that's going to be it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, make sure you keep calm and you clash on for me. All right. See you guys later. Peace.